What's going on guys? Today we're going to show you how to install the Checkmate striping kit from Big League Lines. And it was very easy. I'm very happy with this product. So let's get started showing you how to uh, install this. All right guys, so now we're gonna put this stuff together here. This is pretty uh, self-explanatory with these instructions anyway. So as long as your, your bolts are loose here, first thing we did was we put this little L bracket on, then you put this bolt in with your locking washer. And uh, as long as it's loose, you can adjust this wherever you want. So when you get it on your mower, you can put it exactly where, you, where it needs to be. Um, then we've got this bracket right here that it shows that's going to go in between these and then of course squash together there and we're going to take one of these freaking big bolts here and put it through and then we're going to put our locking washer and our locking nut on there came with both course I didn't bring any tools out here I'm just throwing this together to show y'all how this works all these are the same size so pretty self-explanatory the instructions are real nice I have to say about that most of uh, most of the instructions you get when you put something together are crazy and uh, they don't even work properly or they're hard to read so uh, we'll go over to this other side here, show you how it exactly works. All right, so how this is gonna work here is, it looks like there's a spring here. I guess this just pushes down for compression, but you can tell once these are loose or out, then you can move these wherever you want. So we're gonna take our one of our L brackets here and stick it on here. And then all you're going to do is take your lock washer and your bolt and put them down in there. Now I'm not going to tighten these completely because I want to be able to move them a little bit. Grab our other one. Do the same thing with it. Do this the easy way here. And then once we drill our holes in the mower and stuff, then we'll know exactly to a T where this is gonna go. Sweet. Now, move that a little closer and we'll grab our big piece here. Grab our other bolts. And washers and our locking nuts. All right, so now we got this done, we're gonna take our big piece of steel here, put it in there, put my bolt through, find my holes, there we go, put my other bolt through. Our locking nut and washer. I don't think these are gonna go anywhere once you get them tightened up, that's for sure. Definitely for sure, not gonna go anywhere. So, put this one on here, and then all we gotta do is tighten these bad boys up. And uh, we'll do that once we figure out where they gotta go. We'll tighten, go ahead and tighten these up, keep these a little loose, because I can tighten these with a wrench. And then once we figure out where exactly it's gonna go on the mower, then we'll mount it up there and uh, drill our holes and get going. So, let's go on to step two because this was real easy all right guys so these are three quarter inch bolts and nuts so uh we're going to throw this on there and yeah tighten them let's go ahead and do that all right ta-da now let's tighten these Be 
bada bing. And now they should uh, move. Once I loosen this up a little bit, now they'll move wherever I need them to go. Once I get them there, so, all right. Easy enough. Let's uh, get the Toro out here, I guess, and drill some holes in it. Figure out where these bad boys go and mount this beast on in. Wish me luck. All right, so next thing is, this usually comes on this right here. So we're gonna take that out. This is one end over here. So this will slide in like so. Then you'll slide this on and then they send you an Allen key here. They actually send you two, one for this as well. And I can tighten this down on there like so. And ta-da, now it just moves freely. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's do the other side here. So this is what it looks like originally. So we undo this and we'll take these two washers off and I'll undo this a little bit. And now we'll do the same thing over here. Let's up from the opposite direction. And we'll slide this on, tighten it up. Ta-da, now we've got a free rolling thing there. All right, moving on. All right, so we got our holes drilled in our platform here. Got one there and then one over there. So now the next step I believe is gonna be sitting this down here and sliding it in or picking it up and sliding it in wherever, however you want. Seems like this is an easy way. Oh yeah. Ta-da. Now I'll just let this drop down here. And that way it stays. And uh, I'll measure here, make sure we're even on both sides. As I can tell, we are not. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and kick this over. About one and a half, a little bit more. May have to set it on the ground here to get it exactly where we want it. Looks like it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, well anyway, we've got that in there. So let's go to the next step. So we'll put these on. We'll go ahead and put one of these washers on here. Make sure she's not going to go anywhere. Pretty easy install. Pretty easy install. They give us a uh, big, huge, shall I call it, Allen to go in the back of this. So when you tighten this other side up here, let's find out what size this is going to be. Maybe a half inch. Nope. Looks like she's going to be a 9 16 boys. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, now we'll just tighten this up. Now we'll do this side. Now then, she's on. She is on. Now all we gotta do is line it up where we want it. Tighten these bolts right here, which this is pretty much gonna, looks like it's uh, gonna go a little bit farther over. So let's knock that over and then we'll drop it and see what happens. What y'all think? All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we got it leveled out where we need it. Now we're just gonna tighten these bolts right here. So 
that's her. She's tight, where she needs to be. Don't feel too bad. Oh yeah, that's not, and it rolls up on your tire, so that's cool. All right, there we go. There she is. There she is. So what do y'all say we, uh, I don't, I'm not going to mow, because my yard really don't need it right now. It's getting there though. So we're just going to uh, roll this across the yard and see what it does. I've got pretty decent grass. So we're just going to uh, start the mower, run it up and down through here one time and see what happens. Well, would you look at that? No blades on whatsoever. So you can only imagine when you're cutting and that grass is lifted up, how good of a beautiful stripe that is gonna be. I can't wait guys, so that's beautiful. Well guys, there's the installation of the stripe kit, checkmate stripe kit from Big League Lines. Fairly easy to put on wasn't very hard at all as you can tell I did it by myself so uh, that's pretty much gonna do it heavy duty right there guys heavy duty and just swings as beautiful as day so I uh, hope you liked it guys thanks for watching we're gonna do a more in-depth video once season starts here and show y'all a little more about it but until next time Y'all have a good one.